Right, we're going to come to the urgent question in a minute. Your drag urgent question. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, yeah, Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Speaker. Yeah. To ask the Secretary of State for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs if she will make a statement on the oil spill in Poole Harbour. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I can confirm that at 8 o'clock on Sunday, the 26th of March, Poole Harbour commissioners declared a major incident following an oil spillage of approximately 200 barrels into Poole Harbour in Dorset. The spill is understood to be a product that is 80% saline soil solution and 20% crude oil. The cause of the spill has been reported as a fault with a land-based pipeline operated by Perinco Oil and Gas. The pipe has since been shut off and depressurised to prevent any further contamination and booms have been deployed to help contain the spill. Investigations are currently underway to determine the reason for the fault and to make sure that similar incidents are not repeated. This has been designated as a Tier 2 incident. If it were to escalate to a Tier 1, the Marine and Coastal Agency would lead the response, which under the Government is under the Department for Transport. However, we consider that unlikely due to the rapid response and deployment of the oil mitigation plan by the Harbour Commissioners. Poole Harbour Commissioners are leading the response to the oil spill incident, and the Poole Harbour Commissioners have activated their emergency oil spill response plan, and specialist oil spill response companies are assisting with the operation. The Dorset Local Resilience Forum has convened a strategic coordination group to coordinate the response to the incident, working closely with the Commissioners, the Maritime Coast Guard Agency and the Environment Agency. The current situation appears to be stable, with the continuing focus of the strategic coordination group to gather further data to assess the environmental implications and to continue to progress a clean-up operation. To support this, specialist aircraft completed a site assessment this morning and local responders are assessing the shoreline and harbour. I am sure that the Honourable Member from South Dorset will share my concern for the impact to the local wildlife in the area, especially as Poole Harbour is a site of special scientific interest and a special area of nature conservation. Uh, and I want to thank all of the other Dorset MPs who have been in touch about this and who indeed have worked as a coordinated group uh, on this uh, issue. The Government is closely monitoring the situation and will continue to do so, and the Environment Agency and Natural England will monitor the impact and provide appropriate advice. Richard Drex. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and thank you very much for granting the urgent question. This unfortunate incident, and can I thank my right honourable friend, this unfortunate has occurred in one of the most beautiful and fragile ecosystems in my constituency. And it's not just my constituency that's affected, other Dorset MPs, in particular my honourable friend from Poole who's in the chamber and who's been very supportive and for whom I owe my thanks. Having spent many, many years either near, in or under the water in Poole Harbour, I'm acutely aware of the area's sensitive environment both on land and under the sea. To that end, I am very concerned at this spill, which is potentially catastrophic. And let's not forget that many thousands of humans who enjoy the harbour, especially in the summer. I have been assured this morning that the spill is not as serious as first thought. The majority of the fluid that leaked from an underground pipeline was contained yesterday, as my right honourable friend has said. However, a thin sheen of oil did escape the booms that were put in place and a handful of birds have been found today covered in oil. Mercifully, that number remains low. The effect on the marine environment is unknown. Having spoken to Perenco this morning, they estimate that nearly 5,000 litres of fluid leaked from the pipeline. The fluid is 15% crude oil, 85% water. The leaking underground pipe is located in a very sensitive, marshy, low-lying area in the south of the hub. The contamination was exacerbated by a high tide and a river that runs through the site into the harbour. A large operation to combat the spill using helicopters, drones, vessel and onshore patrols continues today. Specialist clean-up companies have been called in to give advice and that operation will start as soon as possible. On that note, can I ask my right honourable friend to ensure 
that it is paramount the regulator carries out a full investigation into why the leak occurred and, once identified, ensures that any repairs are done to the highest standard. Also, that she will seek assurance from Perenco that the rest of their network is being properly maintained and checked. We do not want this to happen ever again. I thank him uh, for his question and indeed for the uh, assiduousness with which he has actually dealt with this uh, incident, which, as he has highlighted, is in an extremely important nature and wildlife area recognised across the world uh, and a very sensitive site. And I'd like to give him absolute assurances that uh, a full investigation is underway. It's critical that the investigation is carried out uh, so that we've got the full details of what occurred, exactly where the leak was, exactly which bit of pipeline it was, uh, and then um, the full detail of how to react and what needs to be done in terms of clean-up and so forth in future uh, can be put together and carried out. The pipe has been shut off and depressurised to prevent any further discharges, and I give him absolute assurances uh, that I, as the Minister, will be following this very closely uh, to assure that all the correct procedures and the right investigation, uh, which can then inform what we do in future uh, in terms of the regulation and the regulators, uh, is all carried out. Shannon Minister Ruthie Thank you, Mr.